Вы часто повторяете, что ведьмы и колдуны это уже не You frequently mention that witches and sorcerers are not exactly human. What do you mean by that? What I mean is the following. Every person you see, every person you can call a human, is understandable and not dangerous, as long as he doesn't change. We don't like people who are susceptible to change. We prefer seeing people the way we've remembered them. It is safe. It is safe for our subconscious. Because if a person has changed, then we need to get familiar with him all over again, as if he is a brand new individual. A very strong motivation is required to be able to interact with a new person. Witches and sorcerers are never stable. Their consciousness changes according to circumstances, goals, and the outside environment. They are very flexible. Their face is an illusion. Their consciousness is a cloud that may contain a completely different content compared to yesterday. It is impossible to study them. To interact with them is complicated. In order to do so, one should love them and be able to wake up every morning next to a completely different person, while always remembering that it's still the same person you know, but just different. Who would agree to that? Imagine being in their shoes. Imagine that your husband or wife or someone you love possesses such a type of consciousness. It's very difficult. In the end, you will simply get tired of it. It will drive you crazy. But that would be a typical state of consciousness for a witch or a sorcerer. At the same time, it's not just a playful nonsense. Let me say, wake up tomorrow and be a queen, and the day after tomorrow, a homeless bum. Then I'll be a boy, the way it's popular nowadays. And on Fridays, I'll be a turnip. Yes, a turnip. Why not? But this is different. It's not just a random whim. This is a change according to circumstances, according to a transformed world. The consciousnesses of witches and sorcerers are extremely sensitive. They are either born this way, or were intentionally working hard to be able to perceive this world slightly differently, to be more sensitive and flexible and to be able to mimic it. It pertains to everything, not just behavior, not just words he speaks. It pertains to the fundamental concepts as well, such as good and evil. At one point, a witch has all of them switched around, just like that, back and forth. Even the feeling becomes different. Can one possibly say that such a creature is a human? It's extremely difficult, very difficult, because a human implies some type of stability. We interact with each other while hoping that this stability will never end, at the same time trying to stabilize each other. Egregores do the same exact thing. They are stabilizing human consciousness within a certain configuration, within a certain system of values. It helps the egregore form a specific event-based field for a person. And if he doesn't become stabilized, and his event-based field is not created, then it is the other way around. He jumps through the events the way he wants, while all the others stay within their own event-based line. It's extremely difficult to be with such person. When I tell you that those are no longer people, this is what I mean. Their mind is not human, their consciousness is not human, their psyche is not human, cause-effect connections are not human, their motives are totally not human either. That is why only two of the same kind of twisted consciousnesses can possibly exist together. Otherwise, they will have to do it on their own, in the name of the entire humanity.